The Lord praise Jesus, praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and for the Rock Intercession Ministries. I'm here today to preach to you the word of Jesus Christ. Hope that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Amen. Today's message is: Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. Listen. Let me tell you something that you may not know. When you're a Christian, the love fills your heart with love. But you are not to love everything. As a matter of fact, there are some things that you ought not to love as a child of God. And truly, there are some things that you must hate as a child of God. As a matter of fact, you cannot truly really love without hating something. The message is, do not love the world or anything that is in this world for that matter. Now in today's world, hate is an ugly word. There's something we must hate. Let me give you scriptures to the word of God. The Psalms 97 verse 10. Oh, you will love the Lord. Hate evil. That's the word of God. The Bible says, you will love the Lord. Hate evil. In Romans chapter 12. Verse 9, the Bible says, Let your love be genuine. Abort what is evil. Do you hear that? Let your love for God be genuine and abort what is evil. So he saying, Yes, this, you don't have what? Hypocritical love. You see, love not to be what? Hypocritical. He said, Abort that which is evil. Cleave to what is good. So you cannot crave to that which is good without abhorring that which was evil. But you cannot love Lord without hating evil. And that's the reason uh, um, Isaiah says in Isaiah 5 verse 20, what are those who call evil good and good evil? And who put darkness for light and light for darkness? Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter? Friends, we ought to do what call evil out when we see one. We cannot love this world. There's an evil that is in this world. The Bible says, What to those who call evil good and good evil? And who pull darkness for light and light for darkness? Who are put bitterness for sweet and sweet for bitterness? What I mean here is the, the same thing that is in the natural world we are living today. If you love health, my dear friend, you are going to hate disease. If you love peace, you are going to hate war. If you love cleanliness, you are going to hate filth. If you love God and people, you are going to do what? Hate sin. And I hate sin, my dear friend. If you are a Christian, born again Christian, you must hate sin. Because sin contaminates your body, my dear friend. So if you love life, you are going to hate death and killing. So our Lord Jesus Christ is telling us something here. That's something we must not love. Listen to what John says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. Listen to this. If anyone loves the world, the love of Father is not in him. Who is the love of Father? Jesus Christ is not in you if you love this world. Or if you don't find anything that is in this world, verse 16, it says, For all that is in this world, now listen to this, number one, the desires of the flesh, number two, and desires of the eyes, number three, the pride of life. It's not from the Father, but it's from this world. So these are three negative things that is in this world that men came for and die for and willing to die for. Primo saying here is this, sex, power, and pride. And verse 17 it says, And the world is passing away along with the desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. Do you hear the word of God? Repent and give your heart to Jesus Christ, my dear friend. Amen. And then the Bible tells us here in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, that we honor to, to love the world. And again, what is the message today? Do not love the world. Why? Because you have an enemy, an friendly enemy. And the enemy is the word. And the word here is your enemy. The Bible says, you 
not to do what? Love this world. Do not love this world, my dear friend, or anything that is in this world. And not only loving the world, but the things that is in the world too. So now, what does it mean? It's obviously, it's not only about the planet Earth. The Bible calls the world. There's something wrong with this world today. You see, there's something wrong with the world system today. There's something happening in this world that the Bible is all us not to love. Let me remind you that God made this world and created everything. And when he created everything, he said that was good. Until sin came into the world. So the Bible is telling us here that we must not love the world. And the Bible also tells us in the book of John 3 verse 16, my forever verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. So if God loved this world, we ought to do what? To love the world and to love the people that is in this world. But what, what uh, John is saying here in 1 John chapter 2 verse 15, when he says do not love the world, it's talking about the cosmos. You know what cosmos is? That's the order of things. That's the order of things. That's the word cosmos means a system. Order of things, the way we're doing things. That's a pattern. That's the system of this world. Apostle Paul even warned us in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. He said, Do not be confirmed to this world. That's a system of life. That's a lifestyle that is in this world. The Bible tells us what do not confirm to this world. So you, my dear friend, God bless you, sir. You need to ask yourself, are you confirmed to this world? Let me give you an example. Today, we talk about the world finance. We talk about the world sports. We talk about the world fashion. There's a system, there's a pattern. What about the system, about the sports? There's the rules for it. What about finance as well? There's a system. So the word here used in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 is the word cosmos. That is the way of living. That's the lifestyle that is in this world. God wants us not to copy it. If you're a Christian, the Bible says, do not love the world. My dear friend, the Bible is saying yeah, there's a system that you honor to love. It's talking about the system of the world. It's not talking about the planet Earth. There's nothing wrong with the planet Earth. The trees, the moon, the star, you name it. Everything God created for his own glory. There's nothing wrong with it. But there's, there's an evil that is in this world. It's talking about ungodly devilish system that is being set up against our Lord Jesus Christ. So you are in this world, but the Bible says, do not love the world. You are not to do what to cause you up with the world. The world may be friendly to you, but you as a Christian, you cannot cause up the world. You have a friendly enemy, and which is the world. And so you will find out about the world, what the Bible has to say about this world. And you understand why. You are not to love the world. And you're going to think about the world and its character. You are going to think about the world and its corruption. You are going to think about the world and what it does. And where the world is heading to. And what the conclusion of the whole thing. Because there's the consequences of following this world. If you're loving this world, the Bible says, the love of the Father, which is just Christ, is not in you. So there's the character of this world. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. What is the characters of this world? First of all, this world has a prince. He has a prince that's a devilish, diabolical person. The devil himself is the prince of the world. As we think about this prince, let me give you scriptures. For example, Paul speaking in, to the church in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. He says, and you are dead in trespasses and sin, and which you were once walked. Now listen to this. Following the course of this life, and following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. So if you are following this culture, if you are following the pattern, if you are following the system, if you are following the prince of the power of the air, let me tell you what the prince of the power of the air means. There's something that today has been projected to your mobile phone that you are listening to and watching. There's something today that projected to your TV screen that you are watching and listening to. There's something today that been projected to the radio that you are listening to. There's a system that is in this world and it is corrupt. That's why the Bible says, do not love the world. Do not love anything that is in this world. Why? Because why? It's not from God. You see, my dear friend, just Christ speaking here, in fact, in John chapter 12, verse 31 says, Now the judgment of this world, 
now will the prince of this world be cast out so he was talking about the cross that Satan back was broken on that cross when Jesus Christ died for our sins so now there's a prince for this world that's the system being cast out and then in John 14 verse 30 Jesus Christ speaking about the devil he said the prince of this world is coming now listen to this he has nothing with me my dear friend the prince of this world is coming to our Lord Jesus Christ you have no anything to get on him you have nothing that just Christ don't have any inch for him to scratch so the prince of this world the devil comes but you have nothing on me and then just Christ speaking about the prince of this world the final judgment in John chapter 16 verse 11 he says consign the judgment because the prince of this world is judge so that means if you are in the camp with this world you are sailing on war in a sinking ship because the bible said devil have only been judged so why should you why should you follow the losing team my dear friend why not give your heart to jesus christ and follow the winning team if you are in christ jesus christ we never lose my dear friend we never lose so the satan is sinking and selling a sinking ship the dominion of the satan has been broken the prince of the darkness the prince of this world Apostle, Apostle John say in 1 John chapter 5 verse 19 He says now we know that the whole world That mean the whole cosmos Is lying in the power of the evil one Who is the evil one? Satan That this world is in the hands of the dark prince So there's a mastermind behind this world system There's a prince and his name is Satan And they have the whole network That we, most of you today are following People today who do not understand how devil operates. Devil is like a spider. A spider networks of evil. Wickedness. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So that means our fight is not within ourselves. But against principalities. So you see the principalities is the word is the whole point i want you to understand there's a prince that rule over the principalities and powers and he's the mastermind behind every evil thing that has been done here today and he's hiding and he have what's his organization uh, his nations he have a world of worldwide network of wickedness the prince of this world this world has a prince and he's the prince of darkness and not only that this world has a prince he has his philosophy a philosophy you study science today. Anything that you study today in university have to do with what? Your philosophy. What is the philosophy of this world? What is the word of this pattern that you are following, my dear friend? You must understand there's a network of ideas, values, and this thing is very skillful woven together in a trap to entrap the innocent people. For example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19, the Bible says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. There's a word of this word have a wisdom. But this is not the wisdom of God. You see, the wisdom of God is Jesus Christ. So this word is wise, but it's evil in the eyes of God. There's a philosophy that extends from the school to parliament, from parliament to the house of the Lord, from the house of the Lord to the house of the Lord, and to the house of commons. So we are living today. And we expressing these things because this thing appear in your living rooms and other places. It might seem so innocent, it might seem beautiful, but it's what the prince of this dark world, which is the prince of the power of the air, are operating it. So this world has a philosophy. I might tell you that your friendly enemy of this world had a purpose. What is the purpose of the devil? There's a calculated plan and all purpose. What is the purpose? Is to draw you away from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the devil wants to do. Devil is a fashion designer. Devil is a musician. Devil is a movie star. Devil is a sportsman. Devil could also be a prime minister. Without even knowing it, there's a devil operating in this system that allow the evil to operate. And most of you today sign up for it without even knowing Jesus Christ talking about us and this world this world is against our Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 7 verse 7 just Christ speaking to the disciples he said the world cannot hate you but you hate me because why I testify about it is work are evil so you can never wonder 
Why this world hate Jesus Christ? Just Christ say he testified of the wickedness that is in this world, and that's why the world hates our Lord Jesus Christ. So the, the world does not hate Jesus Christ, who is the sick. The world does not hate Jesus Christ, who was being born in Mendia. We celebrate Christmas, but the world they hate Jesus Christ, who tell them their evil ways of lifestyle. They must repent. You see. So you have to understand this. The world does not hate Jesus Christ, who turn water into wine. The world does not hate Jesus Christ. Who feed the five thousand with bread? The world does not hate Jesus Christ. Who walk on water? The world hates Jesus Christ. Who die on the cross of Calvary? And Jesus Christ said, "The world hates me because I testify about his works are evil." So why does the world hate Jesus Christ? I mean, today you'll be so surprised when people hear the word of God. They hate Jesus Christ. When you hate me, you are not hating me, my dear friend. You are hating the word of God and speaking. And that word of God belongs to Jesus Christ. So when you come here to abuse me, you are only abusing God. You are not abusing me. I'm just a Western, you know, boy, saying the message. And the message you love me, I care today. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. There's an evil that is in this world. So you as a Christian, you cannot cause your friend to this world. You have a friendly enemy and your friendly enemy is the world. And that is the devil the poor the prince of the poor of the air and they have a purpose and a philosophy and we must understand this now the world does not hate anything else but they hate christ and his glory when just christ say you should repent that means you cannot continue living in sin god cannot tolerate our sinful lifestyle that is in this world do you know what sin is today now it's to cause sin sin that's what sin today today decided and you my dear friend you are going around with the society you are going around with the world but i want to tell you what just christ said the world hate me because i testify the words are evil and just christ said in the book of john 14 verse 17 because what i'm talking to you today that the world had a purpose and just christ speaking about the holy spirit and it calls him even the spirit of the truth the world cannot receive because neither they see him nor they know him but you know him why because he dwells in you and he will be with you so the holy spirit come to do it to those who know jesus christ so you my dear friend if you cause up to this world you can never receive the holy spirit of god in john 15 verse 18 just christ said if the world hate me and by the way don't get the idea the world will love you to start with if you're a christian this world if they can break your neck they will do so but i want to tell you today the world will never love you because we are caught out out of the world we are the little flocks we are the narrow way we are the christians we have been called to be holy just as god is a holy god so don't get the idea that this world will love you the world will flatter you they will praise you but my dear friend it's because why you are in the world if you're a christian if this world hates you because they hate our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't be surprised. And don't think it's not, don't think it's strange. It is normal for the world to hate you. Just Christ say, if the world loves you, you have to think again. Because they just Christ say, yeah, if the world hate me, they will so hate you as a Christian. And James said this in James chapter 4, verse 4. He said, You adulterous people. Don't you know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of this world makes himself an enemy of God. Do you want to be an enemy of God? Just love this world. If you are a Christian, love this world. You become an enemy of God straight away. And that's right. So if you are a friend of this world, you hate Jesus Christ. If you love Jesus Christ, you will hate this world. Because you are an enemy of God if you love Jesus Christ and then you love the world. You are the traitor to our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died for you on the cross of Calvary? Who was crucified? It's our Lord Jesus Christ. And who crucified him? It was this world. This world the prince. This world the philosophy. This world have a purpose. And the purpose is to do what? To draw your heart away. And to seduce you from loving of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you ought to do what? To love. So just Christ said in the book of John 15 verse 19. If you are of this world, the world could have loved you as his own. But because you are not of this world, because I've chosen you out. Out. We are out. We are out. That's why we are today. We are out and about to preach to you. You see, therefore the world will hate you. 
Christians, hear the word of God come out from my mouth. If you, are, if you love Jesus Christ and you are living in this world and you are practicing what the world is, is, is doing and you are going to the world this way, that's a condition of times. You have moved away from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. So we must separate ourselves from this world. The church has to separate themselves from this world. We, the Christians, we are called out of this world. We are in, in the world, but we are not of this world. So there's a difference today. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ must be glorified. In your place of work, at home, in the school, everything you do, you, my dear friend, you are a Christian, you must shine as light, and you must be the salt of the earth. We are called to come out of this world. We are not to love the world. Because why? This world has a prince, that has a philosophy, that has a purpose. And there's a people today that is in this world who draw you away from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Just Christ said in the book of John, the book of Luke 16, verse 8. For the sons of this world are more shred in dealing with their own generation than the sons of the light. We are the children of God. Amen. We are not children of this world. Because the world has a purpose. And we must understand this. When you go saved, you are caught out of the world. You are different. You are twice born, living in the, the world of once born people. So you will find out that today you will be swimming against the tide all the way. Don't get the idea. Remember by the Broadway and the Norway? They don't go the same direction, my dear friend. You see, because the Broadway is going this way and it's going to end up in death, in destruction. The Norway is going the other way and it's going to end up in heaven. So you as a Christian, you must understand that you are living in the world of once born people and you are twice born so you are a stranger in this world in fact you are alien to this world you are just walking by that's what peter tell us we are aliens we are privileged we are just passing through of this world god bless you sir yes please so my dear friends we must understand today just as the word of god is saying to your heart today that this world is not your place you don't live in this world, my dear friend. You are caught out of this world. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. And we must come to understand this. Because the Bible says he who loves the world must hate the pattern and the system that is in this world. If you know the love of Father, who is Jesus Christ that is in you? You are called to come out of this world. So you have to understand. Apostle Paul say in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, it is to you, Apostle Paul said, for this reason, do not conform to this world, but be transformed. Be transformed. The world does not want to follow God. The world has a different pattern. The world follows the prince of the power of the air. The world believes in his philosophy. The world has a purpose. And what is the main purpose? Is to draw you away from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus Christ. And if you understand this, you understand number one, because there's a character of this world. Number two, because there's a corruption of this world. Listen to 1 John chapter 2, verse 16. For all that is in this world, are you ready to listen to it? Desires of the flesh, desires of the eyes, and the pride of life. The Bible says it's not from the Father, but it's from this world. So you see, this world have a character. This world have a corruption. This world wants to seduce you. This one wants to draw you away from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus Christ. And that's why the three means here is with the loss of the flesh, the loss of eyes, and the, and the pride of life. These are the patterns of this world. Apostle Paul, you don't conform to the standards of this world. But renew your mind. Renew your mind daily through the word of God. Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. Say the desires of the flesh are against the spirit. And desires of the spirit are against the flesh. So these are the two opposite to each other. So when you go save, you have a civil war beginning that is inside you. Your flesh, Apostle Paul say, there's nothing good in it. But your flesh wants to go to the world and your spirit wants to go to God. No wonder just Christ saying, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is winning. So there's an inner nature that is in you that wants to do what? To serve God. And then there's an old nature that is in you, wants to bring you back to your old flesh. The Bible says that desires of the old flesh 
is the loss of the flesh. So you see, all these things will make you to run the areas of brutal, laziness, drunkenness, immorality, perversion. But God has given us the power that you all the world to love God and not to love the world. There's a corruption that is in this world. There's a perversion that is in this world. There's an evil that is in this world. And primarily, there's a sin that is in this world. Want to draw you away from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. We have to seek, first of all, the kingdom of God and righteousness and all this will added to you. That's why Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But you see, this world wants to pamper you. They want to pamper your flesh and satisfy your flesh and all this in the loss of the flesh. So, you have to pay attention to the power and the passions for the loss of the flesh. What about the loss of the eyes? There are some things your eyes see today. How to do with your passions? And these things have to draw you away for the love of God that is in Christ Jesus Christ. That's the thing the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Fix your eyes, fix your eyes on Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of your faith, my dear friend. Don't fix your eyes on the thing that is in this world. The things of this world, the suffocation, the interracial, the, the, the beauty that is in this world, we may pass away, my dear friend. You can never be satisfied with the thing that is in this world. I remember 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Apostle Paul writing to Timothy, he said, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Do you fix your eyes on those things? The Bible said the love of it is evil. My dear friend, you have to understand today that the Bible wants us to see God and His kingdom. Our eyes looking unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Don't, don't, don't be deceived by the devil. The devil will give you lots of the flesh. The devil will set trust for you. Now the question here is, this, are you going to fall for it? You see, so you have to depart from that evil and see Jesus Christ today. Who is the author and finisher of your faith? What about the pride of life? There's many of you today think about possession, think about getting this and all this thing and that. But let me remind you today that everything that you have here today will pass away. And you are going to do what? To give account to our Lord Jesus Christ. The pride of this life is evil, my dear friend. They have a pride in you. Today, you can celebrate pride. What a shame. Why are you celebrating pride? The Bible says, pride go before you. Your destruction follows. Listen, my dear friends, we ought to do what? To humble ourselves before the Almighty God. So that the system, that's the cosmos, that this with passions, possessions, and do with sin, and living, and enjoying, and touching, possession, passions, position. So you need to ask yourself, there's nothing new under this earth. If was deceived from the Garden of Eden, because why? The Bible says she saw the fruit was so good in eyes, and was so pleased. Not only that, I want to make you wise. The world will offer you things that will make you wise. But that's not the wisdom of God, my dear friend. The word of God is speaking to you today, to the word of God. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, he said, Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. Do not love the passion that is in this world. Do not love the possession that is in the world. Do not love the position that is in this world. So you have to understand this. We must seek our Lord Jesus Christ. We must seek him. And when you seek him, you will find him, my dear friend. So, ask yourself today, are you in the area of loss of the flesh? Are you in the areas of loss of the eyes? Or are you in the area of the pride of life? These are the system. These are the patterns that I'm preaching to you today. All these are temptation to draw you away from the love of Jesus Christ. All these are the trap being set before you. My dear friend, Jesus Christ loves you. If you're a child of God, you don't have to be ashamed to follow Lord Jesus Christ. You must hate the pattern and the system that is in this world. Because all this thing that is in this world is to draw you away from the love of God. This world is already contaminated. And this world is ready to blow up as one day. One of these days, when our Lord Jesus Christ will come, the love of this world, if you are in it, everything is going to be passed away. Why not today make a decision and give your life to Jesus Christ? John said this in 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. The world is passing away. Do you hear that? The world is passing away along with the desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Whoever does the will of God abides forever. And the word of God is speaking to you today. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or anything that is in this world. He said, Brother Kinsley, why, why shouldn't I love the world? Is it not God created the world? 
God created the world, but He said, He's telling you today there's a cosmos, there's a system, there's a network of wickedness that is in this world, there's a prince of the power of the air, there's a prince of this world. His purpose is to draw you away for the love of God that is in Christ Jesus Christ. Listen, my dear friends, the pressures of life, the pressures of flesh, the things, the loss of the eyes, all these things and the pride of life, they are not from God. They are from this world. And the Bible said the world is passing away with its fashion, with its music, with its culture, with its tradition. You name it, everything is passing away. Just what he's saying in John 16 verse 11, concerning the judgment. Because the ruler, the prince of this world is judged. And that's the reason today's message is what? Do not love the world because the devil is already judged. It's not there yet. He's already been judged. He cannot end up in that lake of fire himself and he will be shamed there for eternity. You, my dear friend, don't join the devil. Do not follow the system that is in this world. Do not follow the system that is in this world. Accept Jesus Christ today. The Bible says, do not love the world or anything that is in this world. If you, my dear friend, love the world, the Bible says the Father, the love of Father is not in you. And the love of Father is Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus Christ, you can see God. He said he's the way. Just Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. So why not give your heart today? Why not return back to Jesus Christ today? Give your heart to him so that you can be saved. On that last day, you will be the Lord Jesus Christ for eternity. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Jesus is Lord.